In the massive space of universe, there are a tiny, little, and small planet Earth among them. There are billions and billions planets are much larger than Earth. As far as we know, only Earth is a very unique planet, it has so many life forms existed on this special planet. The miracles of nature supply take place everywhere and every day on Earth. All the life species of creatures and plants grow continuously. The ecosystem is our life support system, it will keep doing so if we human don't disturb it. We cannot fully understand the mystery of the nature world. Because nature is so complicated, people don't bother to know how the nature work, they just think sky and earth will supply us everything. Everything we had, it is not come from human involvement, and it is come from the providence of sky and earth. No food without soil, no water without rain, no growth without sun, no life without sky and earth. When we buy things from store, it has to go through many different processes, and finally we can have these things in our home. Farmers grow plant, miners dig out raw mineral ore, then through manufacturing process, so we can have food, clothing, building, and car. Behind all these processes, the raw material sources of our possessions are all come from sky and earth. Sky and earth not only supply us with food and beauty, but also provide us the resting place to build our home. Nature provide us with spiritual healing, it is much better than medical therapy. Do we have the heart of appreciation toward all these nature's providence? Look deep into the sky and earth, we will understand human life better. Sky and earth work together make everything grow, they give us a beautiful life environment. Every day is good day to be alive, no matter sun is shining or not. If we truly love nature, we will find the beauty of sky and earth everywhere. Sky provides us a big canvas of art, sun, moon, and stars, earth provides mountain and trees, ocean and fish, plants and flowers, they paint the scenery picture of majesty beauty. No matter how bad the human behaviors are, but sky and earth keep provide food, water, air, and everything to sustain us. But we can't take this as granted, if we are keeping destroy the environment of sky and earth, it bound to be have a time period, it will stop our lifeline. Sky and earth give us the basic needs to have good life on this land. But if people accumulate the possession way above their need, it will become greedy, competition and conflicts. Oil, gas, mineral mines are the products of very long natural process throughout the history. If human keep dig out these resources freely, it will running out very quickly. It is the time for us to slow down our progress and cut down our spending, we can't be so selfish to keep adding deficit to our future generations. Money is nothing when we don't have food to eat, no water to drink and no place which we can call home. We have to realize, sky and earth doesn't belong to us, we belong to them, because we are living under their mercy, and we have to live under the law of nature. We as human had received so many kindness and providence from sky and earth, how can we repay them? Think conservation and respect. Wisely treat sky, earth, and its resources for the lasting good of mankind, protect our environment and maintain harmony relationship with nature. Nature develops by its own way, 
but mankind play a very important part to manage this nature supply. Nature will supply enough for our need, but not for our greedy, so don't use resources unlimited and cause our future go up in smoke. Sky is our nature father and earth is our nature mother, we are the children under their care. We need to respect our sky, peace on earth, goodwill toward all mankind, and let us protect our life source, sky and earth.